He has eight years, but due to his health condition, where he cannot do anything apart from eating, no one here believes that he's that old. Everyone, starting from both parents here, are worried and afraid of losing their boy as his head keeps on enlarging daily, yet they have no solution. They tried their best in taking him to hospitals and failed. But what happened to this baby? Parents said that this is the last hope. We are back in DRC, South Kivu. We take a long journey to meet this family who shares with us more of the boy's painful story. Pole Bantumwema is the father to this young boy. He says the baby was born normal without any health issue. But this never lasted as after only two weeks, the baby's head started swelling daily that scared parents who ended up going to the hospital. The baby was examined and doctors found out that he's suffering from hydrocephalus and said the baby needed a surgery which could take 4,000 US dollars. Maybe to some people this was not much, but to this family it was a large sum of money that they have never dreamed of, let alone owning it. Now they're worried. They lost hope and are afraid of losing the baby since they can't afford such a large sum of money. They say they don't understand what really happened to the baby as since the day he was in the mother's womb, he never had any problem and doctors always confirmed how healthy he was but was surprised the day they produced as he was born two weeks prior to the normal pregnancy period. The little boy is suffering from hydrocephalus, which is an abnormal buildup of fluid in the ventricles deep within the brain. It is characterized by head enlargement in infants. Treatment is often a tube or shunt inserted surgically into ventricle to drain excessive fluid. In 2019, there was a campaign of treating disabled children and he was taken in Goma where they inserted a shan in his body that comes from the head to the stomach. They expected it to be more helpful and solve the boy's issue, but this seems not to be the perfect solution they needed, as parents insist that it has brought almost no change at all. The little boy cannot do anything apart from sitting for a short period of time and only eating. The rest has to be done where he is like excreting waste products from his body which he cannot control. Parents used all what they had and ran out of budget, yet the boy still has to go to the hospital almost every day for some painkillers and checkups. Now they stop taking him to hospitals and hope that maybe someday they'll have enough money to cover the whole hospital bill. They have always requested people to support and help them get money for treatment, but only got help once in 2019 when that shunt was inserted in him. And there is not any other support they ever got, yet they need more for the 8-year-old to be treated and have a normal life. <laughs> Nabunani Kanigi is the mother to the eight-year-old. She says that since she had a normal delivery, she never expected that later the boy would suffer from such a disease. And when it happened, she was shocked and asked God why let the little boy suffer to that extent, as the boy is always feeling too much pain. The boy needs maximum care and attention that they cannot leave him here alone, being the reason the mother stopped working since the day she delivered the boy. During the early days of the boy's illness, she says she used to lock him inside. She never wanted people to keep staring at their boy and adding some more disgusting comments. But the little boy always cried when he had people talking outside. 
and they stopped locking him inside and now bring him out and he's happy despite being sick and interact with everyone. He's called Aksante and has 8 years of age. But due to this illness, plus not being able to move by himself from one place to another, makes him look younger as some think he's a toddler or much younger than he actually is. It is said that many people can't believe that Aksant is 8 years old. She says that life has never been fair to her, as she has faced a lot of challenges since getting married, where she had still birth three times but now grateful that she ended up producing four children and three of them are no more except this one who is suffering from this health condition. The mother also thanks and appreciates the husband's commitment and cooperation during these difficult eight years as he tried his best in solving the situation and though it's not yet fixed but she believes she has a caring and a real husband because she knows a number of men who she thought would be there in such difficult times but ended up relinquishing their parental responsibilities. She adds that a lot of people have always gathered at the house since a few years ago and a few of them were at least willing to help them but others never cared. They just come, stare and leave and even go on adding some inappropriate words that do not motivate someone but rather discourage. But since such has happened for multiple times, they got used to it and are looking forward to see a miracle happening. They believe that only God has to intervene and do something special for the 8-year-old to have a normal life. They also know that things might even get wrong, but they hope for the best. Christophe is the young brother to Aksant's father. He says that after what happened, he has always tried to be near this family and help however much he can. It's not that easy, he says, but they're trying with all efforts and they'll be happy seeing the eight-year-old recover. This family is facing a serious problem where the eight-year-old is suffering from hydrocephalus and are required to have at least 4,000 US dollars for the baby's medication and they cannot afford that amount of money. The only job opportunity here is brick making and brick organizing. It's all about bricks which does not earn a lot of money and that's where the father works but still struggles to make ends meet. That's why they need your support. You can help by contributing on the Giving Life's link found in description and pin in top comment. We all go through hardships in life. Overcoming these challenges makes us stronger and helps us in becoming better versions of ourselves. We don't develop courage by being happy every day. We develop it by surviving difficult times and challenging adversity. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afrimax English. Remember to subscribe.